Hello, hi, good evening. Welcome to AccuCheck Wealthy. We all are here with a new speaker with a lot of knowledge sharing. Let me speak to individual people in today's session. A warm welcome to all our AccuCheck Wealthy family. Thank you so much. Your active participation, all of you joining before time, ensuring that me and my team can guide you, share a lot of knowledge, give you tips, tricks, suggestions. Uh, we are very happy to have each one of you here. Thank you so much for being a part of AccuCheck Wealthy family. Let me talk to each one of you personally. Hello, Shakti Darji. Good evening. How are you? I hope you are having a good discussion with your health coach. Your health coach keeps updating me about your progress. Good evening and thank you so much for joining today. Hello, Vinod ji. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining. I hope your blood sugar is fine. Your blood sugars are under control. Hello, Pandurang ji. How are you? Up Nahite Beach make good sessions. I hope you are now going to be regular in all our weekly sessions. Hello, Nurul. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining today's session. I hope you are connecting with your health coach after this. Hello, Dhruba Ji. Thank you so much for joining. Welcome to AccuCheck Wealthy family. Hello, Mr. Chakravarti. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining today. We are glad to have you as a part of AccuCheck Wealthy program. Hello, Sanjeev ji. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining today. I hope you are doing well. Hello, Mr. TD. I'm so sorry. I cannot greet you because I am not aware. Uh, you know, please update your full name so that I can relate uh, with your progress in the AccuCheck Wealthy program and accordingly guide you, greet you. Hello, Praveen ji. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining today's session. All right. I hope you all see a new guest in today's discussion. I hope you all know, uh, you know, that she is one of our senior team members. I will shortly introduce you uh, to her. I'm sure all of us are waiting. Meanwhile, I would love to know, uh, do you all know what is today's topic? Do drop in a message in the chat box to confirm, to give me information. Do you know what is today's topic and what is today's knowledge sharing or discussion about? Meanwhile, let me greet my AccuCheck Wealthy family, my users who have just joined. Hello, Ashok ji. Good evening. I hope you are doing well. Thank you so much for joining today. Hello, uh, RM. I'm so sorry. I do not know your name. I cannot actually uh, give you any kind of information about your health journey. Hello, Nayan. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining today. Awesome. Great. Without any much wait, Let's start with our AccuCheck Wealthy journey. Before we move ahead, I would love to give you information that we are now a family of 1,25,000 users. This is a golden opportunity for all of you to speak to your health coaches and enroll with great discounts which are running currently in the program. Hello, Vivek ji. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining today. All right, great. So we have a lot of AccuCheck Wealthy members joining in. Let's wait for each one of them and let's start with today's discussion. Hello, Shalini ji. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining today's session. I hope you enjoy and have a lot of knowledge sharing today. All right. Let's start today's discussion with today's special guest. I feel very happy and proud to introduce my team member. Her name is Dhruti. She is a senior health coach and she has handled more than 5,000 users with a lot of health conditions like diabetes management, weight management, cholesterol management, hypertension, cardiovascular health 
and her expertise lies in GDM, gestational diabetes mellitus. She is a prime part of the team and she has handled 5,000 plus patients with a ratio of more than 75% of success outcomes. Uh, great to have such members who uh, help all our users to improve on their health. So let's talk to Dhruti today and let's see what knowledge, what information has she got for us today. Welcome Dhruti ji. Please let's start with your discussion today. Thank you Rutija. Thank you. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dhruti Kaim Purath and I'm delighted to have this opportunity for conducting this uh, masterclass on balanced plate and health, uh, healthy cooking here. And I am a nutritionist with an experience of 12 years in the field of dietetics. So in this webinar, we'll deep dive into how we can uh, make our uh, plate a balanced one and exploring how this balanced plate and healthy cooking habits will help in managing the blood sugar levels. Okay, so let's start with it. So as we know that today's topic is balanced plate and healthy cooking. Yes, and it is a step to control the diabetes through a balanced plate which doesn't mean that we should be deprived of whatever food we like to eat and which are our favorite ones. But it means we can have a tasty and balanced meal, which will not only boost our energy, but will improve our energy and improve our mood also. Okay, so eating healthy means which will help to prevent not only prevent or control, but we can reverse our diabetes too. So how we can do this and enjoy our food, our favorite food rather, I would say, and uh, without depriving from it and being hungry most of the time, right? As we know that being overweight is the biggest risk of this type 2 diabetes and especially overweight being on your abdominal area. Right, So when we carry uh, too much of weight in our abdominal area is the risk factor for type 2 diabetes. Right, And uh, for this, we should aim for a female, it should be not more than uh, 20, 35 inches. Okay, Or it should be less than 35 inches and in males, it should be less than 40 inches. So I would rather say we should aim to be uh, 2 inches less than this to be on a normal range of this weight management, right? So to aim on this, to lose this extra weight, what helps us in doing this? So this, a balanced diet, not only a balanced diet, living an active life and exercising and most importantly, resting well or sleeping well, which we can say for at least six to eight hours in a whole day, which will help in achieving our goals, right? Now we'll see how we can achieve this by having a healthy eating plate. So we can see a plate over here, right? This round portion is our plate and it shows what it should contain. This is a whole day's meal pattern. So we should divide this into three meal pattern and in between snack, we can divide this. But how we can take this, I will start telling you. So. To start with it, first we need to make sure that we have all natural foods, okay? So how we can take that, the food which we buy from our grocery or the vegetable vendors, the same way we need to have. We don't have to go for any processed packet foods or any convenience food, let's say ready to eat two minutes, just put it in water, boil it in water and you can have. So all these are 
not healthy eating habits right so this plate says that 50% of our uh, plate should contain vegetables and fruits okay and 25% should contain whole grains and healthy protein so fruits or vegetables hame 50% hamare plate mein hona chahiye to ye kaise hum include kar sakte हैं वो मैं आपको धीरे धीरे बताऊंगी और कौन से वेजिटेबल्स और फ्रूट्स भी हम इंक्लूड और एक्सक्लूड कर सकते हैं वो भी मैं आपको बताती हूँ ठीक है और होल ग्रेन्स में क्या क्या आता है व्हाट डज दिस होल ग्रेन कंटेन्स दैट विल आल्सो बी एक्सप्लेन एंड हेल्दी प्रोटीन्स आल्सो ओके एंड वी शुड नॉट से दैट हेल्दी ऑयल्स आर ऑल्सो वन थिंग विच शुड इंक्लूडेड इन अवर डे टू डे लाइफ सो हाउ कैन वी इंक्लूड दैट एंड what oils are healthy oils i will be explaining to you okay so vegetables we'll talk about the vegetables the more the vegetables and more the colorful vegetables in the diet will help us get more nutrition the micronutrients which we say as well as the fiber too so when we say vegetables all green yellow orange colored vegetables should be there in our plate so to have this 50% of 4% of fruit and vegetable include karne ke liye hamare plate mein hame kya kya include karna chahiye we can include one green vegetable like we can say any of the green vegetables and one bowl of salad so salad can be either raw or boiled we can have okay next comes the fruit and the uh vegetables which we are supposed to avoid are the starchy vegetables like potatoes french fries and all these has to be avoided but i will talk to this about uh which other food groups or vegetables which we can include in the coming slides okay and the fruits have many colorful plenty of fruits especially in between your meals so that along with the meals when we consume खाना खाने के साथ में अगर हम फ्रूट्स कंज्यूम करते हैं तो उनका जो एब्जॉर्बन होता है जो न्यूट्रिएंट्स का एब्जॉर्बन होता है वो हिंडर हो जाता है क्योंकि हमारे खाने में और भी कई सारे न्यूट्रिएंट्स अवेलेबल होते हैं तो हमें इसे कब लेना चाहिए और कैसे लेना चाहिए तो ये हमें मील्स के बीच में लेना चाहिए इन बिटवीन मील्स लेना चाहिए एज अ हेल्दी स्नैक ऑप्शन तो वो हमें कब लेना चाहिए दैट इज सुबह ब्रेकफास्ट और लंच के बीच का जो टाइम रहता है जहां पे हम सबसे ज्यादा भूख लगती है या हंगरी एट दैट टाइम सो वो टाइम पे हमें एक फ्रूट ले सकते हैं सो द फ्रूट्स विच यू कैन इंक्लूड आर ऑल एप्पल्स पेर पीचेस वॉटरमेलन मस्क मेलन ओके एंड अदर बेरीज ऑल्सो एंड किवी टू एंड citrus fruits like orange mosambi also can be included with which helps you improve your vitamin c and your immunity also okay and a whole grains how can we include this whole grains in our diet so whole grains we have many varieties of whole grains like uh, wheat jowar bajra what we call as millets jo hum millets bolte hain तो वो सारी चीजें आपको इंक्लूड करनी है बट हमें ध्यान देना है कि हमें वो प्रोसेस या रिफाइंड वाले फूड्स अवॉइड करने हैं फॉर एग्जांपल हमें वीट फ्लावर ले सकते हैं पर मैदा अवॉइड करना है सो दीज आर लाइक कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स ऐसे होते हैं जो कॉम्प्लेक्स होते हैं जो हमें फाइबर देते हैं जो रिफाइंड होते हैं वो हमें फाइबर नहीं देते हैं जो वो रिफाइंड होते हैं सो मैदा इज अ रिफाइंड फ्लार जो हमें अवॉइड करना चाहिए बट वीट फ्लार हम ले सकते हैं दिस इज एन एग्जाम्पल टू लेट यू नो ठीक है ऐसे ही हम दाल में भी कर सकते दाल एंड पल्सेस में भी कर सकते हैं जो हमारा प्रोटीन जो हमें वो प्रोटीन वेजिटेरियन प्रोटीन प्रोवाइड करता है सो so, हम ये कैसे ले सकते हैं जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल मूंग है और मूंग की दाल भी अवेलेबल है छिलके वाली भी बिना छिलके वाली पॉलिश एंड अनपॉलिश वो सो इफ वी टेक द अनपॉलिश वंस ऑफ होल ग्रीन ग्रैन वो हमें ज्यादा हेल्प करेगा फाइबर लेने के लिए ठीक है तो लाइक दैट वी हैव टू 
manage our plate. So whenever we have a plate, we need to make sure that we have one. Uh, so 25% of our whole grains, like say millets or chapatis or multigrain chapatis. Okay. A healthy protein, 25%, like these can be uh, from uh, poultry, fish, eggs, and beans and nuts also. So now nuts, uh, how can we take this? So along with the meals, it's not possible to have each and everything. So this nuts also can be taken or roasted grams, which we say. Nuts and seeds and grams can be taken as an evening snack, a good option for evening snack. Okay, say like almonds, walnuts, uh, pistachios, and a fist full of roasted chana will also help as an evening snack. And what we need to avoid in this protein source is cheese, red meats, processed meats, all these, and the cold cuts and the uh, stored cold storage uh, meats has to be avoided. Okay, and coming to the healthy oils. The oils which are healthy has to be included. So healthy oils कौन से हैं? जैसे कि canola हुआ, uh, olive oil हुआ, ये सारे हैं जो हम cooking में या salad के uh, dressing में हम use कर सकते हैं. तो ये हम use कर सकते हैं हमें जो avoid करना है वो है saturated fats और trans fat जो हमें butter से और uh, dalda से और ऐसी सब चीजों से मिलता है. तो वो चीज हमें अवॉइड करनी है बट ये हेल्दी ऑयल्स है उसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि हम ये बहुत ज्यादा क्वांटिटी में खा सकते हैं तो इसकी क्वांटिटी कितनी होगी नॉट मोर देन 3 टू 4 टीस्पून इन अ डे तो बस हमें इतना ध्यान देना है कि जो हम कुक कर रहे हैं हमारा खाना उसमें ये सिर्फ 3 टू 4 टीस्पून ऑफ ऑयल यूज करना है ठीक है वाटर नेक्स्ट इज सो वाटर वी नीड इज अ वी नो दैट 70% of our body is water. So where do we get this? By drinking water only. So we should have 8 to 10 glasses of water in a day. Right? So this will make sure that you are hydrated. And if you are unable to increase that, we can start having other uh, liquids like uh, we can say lime water without sugar or buttermilk. Like this, we can include in our day-to-day -day life. Okay, and not mm, another important thing is to stay active. Minimum of 30 minutes of physical activity three to four times in a week is a must. As we had seen that not only the diet, but uh, exercise and staying active also helps in this. So if you have any doubts, you can let me know. We have a question and answer session. We can go to it. Okay. So now, what can we eat more? So as I told you that in between meals, we are always hungry. So what can be taken and what food groups we can eat more in quantities? So healthy fats from nuts and fish oils and flax seeds and some other seeds also or avocado. So all these contains healthy fats. So we can include this in our diet by including them. Like uh, seeds, like you can have uh, flax seeds, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and uh, chia seeds too are an important uh, seeds which we can include, which contains protein too. So how can we take that? We can take one teaspoon of chia seeds and add it to a glass of water. Soak it for one to two hours minimum and then have it in between your meals or just half an hour before your meals. This will help you out in not only giving you fiber, increasing your protein, but yes, managing your blood sugars too. Okay, so fruits and vegetables. So ideally, we need to have more colorful fruits and vegetables. Better to have them whole as a whole or uh, have it as a smoothie without straining it. So fruits and vegetables, we can take it in between meals, as I said earlier also. So how do you take fruits and vegetables in the food? You can as such a fruit or you can convert it in a smoothie. So we can make a smoothie for all the fruits, vegetables and seasoning for seasoning, lime or pepper or anything we can add and make a smoothie for in-between meals. Okay? 
हाई फाइबर सीरियल्स एंड ब्रेड मेड फ्रॉम होल ग्रेन्स तो मैंने आपको बता दिया है कि होल ग्रेन्स क्या है होल ग्रेन्स जो आउटर कवरिंग होता है उनका उसे निकाले बगैर जो हम लेते हैं उसे हम होल ग्रेन्स कहते हैं तो उसे हमें इंक्लूड करना है हमारे डेली मील्स में जो थ्री मेजर मील्स है हमारे ब्रेकफास्ट लंच और डिनर तीनों में ठीक है और इन बिटवीन स्नैक मैंने आपको समझाया फ्रूट्स नट्स सीड्स से कैसे ले सकते हैं तो ये सारी चीजें हमें लेनी है और फिश एंड शेल फिश एंड चिकन ड्रेस सो ये सारी चीजें जो है हमें देता है प्रोटीन तो ये भी हमें ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट इंक्लूड करना है जैसे मैंने आपको बताया था सो so, ये हंड्रेड टू वन ट्वेंटी ग्राम्स ऑफ ये सोर्स हम ले सकते हैं सो so, अगर हम नॉन वेजिटेरियन है तो हम हंड्रेड टू वन ट्वेंटी ग्राम्स ऑफ चिकन के ब्रेस्ट पीसेस इट्स बेटर टू हैव ब्रेस्ट पीसेस दैन हैविंग लेग पीसेस बिकॉज इट कंटेन्स अ लिटिल मोर फैट इन तो हमें ज्यादातर ध्यान देना है कि हम ब्रेस्ट पीस पे ले सकते हैं और फिशेस भी ले सकते हैं एंड होल ग्रेन्स बींग अ वेजिटेरियन होल ग्रेन्स आर द बेस्ट सोर्स एंड मिल्क एंड मिल्क प्रोडक्ट्स सो मिल्क एंड मिल्क प्रोडक्ट्स भी ऐसी चीजें होती है जिसमें फैट भी होता है तो फैट हमें रिड्यूस करना है हमें फैट ज्यादा नहीं लेना है तो क्या कर सकते हैं हम उसके लिए तो हमें काउज मिल्क लेना है जो लो फैट रहता है सो इधर सबको डाउट रहेगा कि कैसे हम ये जाने के लो फैट है हाई फैट है जो पैकेट मिल्क लेते हैं हम उसमें पीछे न्यूट्रिटिव वैल्यू रहता है उसमें देखना है हमें कि उसमें थ्री परसेंट से ज्यादा फैट नहीं होना चाहिए सो इट इज अ लो फैट मिल्क ठीक है तो वो चीज हमें ध्यान रखनी है और हो सके उतना चीज और उन सब चीजों से दूर रहे जिसमें उस फैट रहता है बट कॉटेज चीज जैसे हम पनीर बोलते हैं वो हम ले सकते हैं वो भी लो फैट होना चाहिए एंड अदर डेयरी प्रोडक्ट्स लाइक कर्ड एंड बटर मिल्क आल्सो कैन बी टेकन अनस्वीटेंड होना चाहिए वो सो so, ये सारी चीजें हम इंक्लूड कर सकते हैं ठीक है सो वॉट वी नीड टू ईट लेस इन दिस इज द पैकेट फूड्स जैसे फर्स्ट डे फर्स्ट स्लाइड पे ही मैंने आपको बताया कि पैकेट वाले फूड्स जो होते हैं जैसे बिस्किट्स हो गए स्पेशली जो हाई इन शुगर रहते हैं बेक्ड आइटम्स स्वीट्स पोटेटो पोटेटो चिप्स और एनी अदर चिप्स और एनी पैकेट विच वी गेट एज अ डेजर्ट दैट हैज टू बी अवॉइडेड क्यों क्योंकि उसमें ज्यादा फैट रहता है शुगर रहता है फैट भी रह सकता है और सोडियम कंटेंट भी हाई रहता है उसमें सो so, उसे हमें अवॉइड करना चाहिए ठीक है एंड अदर थिंग्स लाइक व्हाइट ब्रेड सीरियल्स विच आर रिफाइंड पास्ता सो नाउ अडे इज होल ग्रीन पास्ता आर ऑल्सो अवेलेबल ब्राउन राइस इज बेटर देन हैविंग व्हाइट राइस सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स वी नीड टू टेक केयर ऑफ ठीक है प्रोसेस मीट और रेड मीट्स जो होते हैं वो हमें अवॉइड करना है क्योंकि उसमें सबसे ज्यादा सैचुरेटेड फैट्स होते हैं तो वो हमें नहीं करना है जो हमारे रिस्क ऑफ कोलेस्ट्रॉल और वेट गेन के लिए इंक्रीज हो जाता है और लो फैट डायरी प्रोडक्ट्स विच इज रिप्लेस्ड विथ फैट एंड एडेड शुगर तो ये चीज अवॉइड करनी है हमें तो देर आर मेनी मार्केट प्लेसेस विच इज अवेलेबल लाइक लो फैट प्रोडक्ट्स बट दे आर हाई इन शुगर्स सो वी कैन अवॉइड ऑल दोज थिंग्स एस्पेशली दो स्वीट इन योगट सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स हैज टू बी अवॉइडेड वॉट वी कैन डू इस हमें वो घर पे ही लेना है विदाउट एडिंग एनी शुगर्स टू इट ओके सो नाउ आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ डिस Uh, this carbohydrates or what we can say fibers sugars and starch are divided all these are carbohydrates ye sare teeno cheeze carbohydrates hai to isme kaun se acche hain kaun se bure hain aur hame kya lena chahiye aur kya hame avoid karna chahiye ye hame sabse zyada janna zaruri hai jaise ki starch three main types hai starch sugars and fibers so ye starch kya hota hai तो स्टार्च हर एक फूड ग्रुप में रहता है स्पेशली जो हमारे सीरियल्स होते हैं वेजिटेबल्स होते हैं और बीन्स जो बोलते हैं हम उन सब में ये रहता है बट कौन से अच्छे हैं जो कॉम्प्लेक्स वाले कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स हैं वो हमें चूज करना है जैसे होल ग्रेन्स यूज करना है और रिफाइंड अवॉइड करना है 
और वेजिटेबल्स में स्टार्च किस में सबसे ज्यादा रहता है हमें पता है पटेटोस सो पटेटोज हमें अवॉइड करना है सो टोटली टू अवॉइड ऑल दीज थिंग्स क्योंकि पोटेटो ऐसी चीज है जैसे मैंने बोला था कि फेवरेट चीजों को अवॉइड नहीं करना है तो हम क्या कर सकते हैं इसमें तो हम जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल आलू का भाजी या फिर मसाला डोसा हम खाते हैं तो उसमें सिर्फ पटेटोज रहता है सो दैट हैज टू बी अवॉइडेड हम मिक्स वेजिटेबल्स के साथ पोटेटो वन और टू थ्री पीसेस ऑफ पोटेटो आ जाता है सो दैट इज फाइन टू टेक तो हम हमारी जो फेवरेट चीज है वो इंक्लूड भी कर पाते हैं और एक साथ में ज्यादा क्वांटिटी में ना खा के हमारा कार्बोहाइड्रेट इंटेक भी हम कम कर सकते हैं ठीक है वैसे ही ड्राइड बीन्स भी हम ले सकते हैं जैसे कि मूंग मटकी राजमा चना सोया ऑल दीज हम ले सकते हैं इंक्लूड कर सकते हैं दिन के तीन टाइम ठीक है नाउ शुगर्स शुगर शुगरी फूड्स आर लाइक बेसिक सिंपल शुगर्स जो हमें कहाँ से मिलता है जैसे कि शुगर जैगरी हनी ये सारी चीजों से हमें सिंपल शुगर्स मिलता है ये तो हमें अवॉइड करना ही करना है दैट इज द बेसिक थिंग बट हमें नेचुरल शुगर्स कैसे मिल सकते हैं वो है फ्रूट्स से तो हमें ये कैसे लेना है तो फ्रूट इन बिटवीन मील्स लेना है जैसे मैंने पहले बोला था और जूसेस uh, अवॉइड करें ठीक है okay? और ये फ्रूट्स लाइक like, uh, जैसे अदा चीजों में जो हमें मिलता है जैसे फ्रूट फ्लेवर्ड फूड आइटम्स फॉर एग्जांपल योगर्ट कोई भी फ्लेवर्ड का योगर्ट सो इट कंटेन्स नॉट ओनली द फ्रूट इट कंटेन्स शुगर्स टू सो दैट हैज टू बी अवॉइड नेचुरली हम घर पे बना के वो ले सकते हैं ठीक है एंड फाइबर नेक्स्ट इज द फाइबर एंड इट प्लेज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल इन कीपिंग अटाइटी सो फाइबर हमें कैसे मिलता है जितने भी होल ग्रेन्स है फ्रूट्स है वेजिटेबल्स है और वन मोर थिंग इन हैविंग अ फ्रूट डो नॉट पील द स्किन ऑफ द फ्रूट ट्राई टू हैव जिसका हम खा सकते हैं वो फ्रूट के पील छिलके हमें खाने हैं ठीक है एंड अदर फाइबर कंटेन्स आर फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल्स एस्पेशली द लीफी वेजिटेबल्स इफ वी हैव मे बी थ्री टू फोर टाइम्स इन अ वीक विल बी हेल्पफुल ठीक है सो नेक्स्ट इज द क्विज टाइम कैन वी स्टार्ट द पोल फॉर दिस आई होप यू नो द एंसर ऑफ दिस एंड थैंक यू फॉर appearing for this poll i hope everyone has answered and thank you for answering this poll the quiz now we can see the answer for this three so processed meat has less carbs and save the answer is no most of you have given the right answer thank you very much for appearing for this theek hai to ye cheez hame help karegi to hame diabetes hote hue kya cheez kya amount mein khana hai wo bhi zyada zaruri hai theek hai to ye hum kaise kar sakte hain तो स्नैक्स लाइक पोषण कंट्रोल हम कैसे कर सकते हैं और कितना अमाउंट में हम फ्रूट खा सकते हैं वो हमें दिखाया गया है इसमें तो फ्रूट्स रोस्टेड चना नट्स हमें हैंडफुल लेना है तो हमारे हैंड में जितना आता है उतना लेना है जैसे मैंने आपको बोला था कि नट्स सीड्स और रोस्टेड चना ऐसे हम इवनिंग स्नैक में ले सकते हैं सो so, हमें क्या करना है ये हमारे पाम में आ जाए उतना फोर टू फाइव आमंड टू वॉलट्स टू पिस्टैच्यूज और टी स्पून ऑफ ऑल सीड्स एंड सम रोस्टेड चना विल हेल्प यू टू अवॉइड दिस इवनिंग स्नैक ओके सीरियल्स जो हम दलिया ओट्स पल्सिस सब चीजें हम 
लंच डिनर ब्रेकफास्ट में हम लेते हैं वो हम कैसे ले सकते हैं इट्स अ फिस्ट हमारा फिस्ट बोला था हमारी मुट्ठी में तो फिस्ट फुल ऑफ वो लेते हैं दैट इज वन पोस्ट ठीक है तो पोशन लाइक चिकन एंड फिश इज वन फार्म एक फार्म में जितना हमारा आ सकता है दैट इज वन पोशन साइज ऑफ अ प्रोटीन सोर्स दैट इज पनीर चिकन और फिश और यू कैन इवन एड टो फूट टू दिस ओके सैलेड्स एंड ग्रीन्स एंड लीफी वेजिटेबल्स एंड फ्रूट्स ऑल दीज आर बेस्ट सोर्स ऑफ फाइबर जो हमें इंक्लूड करना चाहिए सो दैट कैन बी टू ओपन हैंड्स so how much we can fill it in one open hand so that will be our portion size to have our fruits vegetables and leafy vegetables and green uh, green vegetables okay and cooking oil or fats which we say however healthy you are taking you can have it with your thumb that is the portion size of your fat okay i hope this is clear with everyone and will be helping you in uh, maintaining your portion size for each and every day and your health coach will also be suggesting you all these things so try to have it do it each and every day so this as i told you in the first page itself the plate should contain 50% percent of fruit and vegetables so these 50% will contain all the colorful leafy and the greens and the fruits also in the whole days meal and whole grains not refined ones so all these are whole grain bread cereals oats rice all these things you can include and this is the protein source where you can include all uh, unsaturated fats and uh, lean cuts of uh, meat beans and nuts too right so now we can see sorry what can be taken instead of uh, the food which we like more so why instead of white rice what we can have is long grain rice unpolished rice wheat dalia or millets too these are the best options which we have we can have for instead of white rice okay potatoes or french fries or mashed potatoes so we know that this are the favorite foods of everyone and nowadays the kids are also more into this so what can we replace this with we can replace this with sweet potato yam or when we have mashed potatoes we can include mashed cauliflower also it tastes the same okay breakfast cereal so there are many breakfast cereal which we have which contains sweetened also and unsweetened also so try to have the high fiber ones and which does not contains sugar added to it so those are to be included in your breakfast cereal instant oatmeal so instead of this instant oatmeal we can have steel cut or rolled oats okay corn flakes is also one thing which we can avoid because uh, it uh, it can increase our blood sugar as uh, because its glycemic index is on a higher side so that has to be avoided and instead of that we have we can have bran flakes which is unsweetened or low in sugar okay so and instead of corn also we can have peas or leafy vegetables or even saute vegetables also we can have okay instead of this maida flour we can have other whole grain flour so it's time for an another quiz can we have the poll please for this thank you thank you for running this poll and i hope everyone knows the answer for this too and thank you for participating also in this
I hope everyone has answered and thank you for appearing for this. We can see what are the answers for the polished rice and the layer can be replacement of white rice. Yes or no? The answer is yes. Thank you for answering. Okay, so what we can see is it in managing diabetes, some of the tricks which we can follow are eat a variety of foods in the right amount. So as I said, that eating it in the right amounts, which I have told you that is to be seen and to see and check the food labels. So the calorie, the carbohydrate, the fat, the sodium, the sugars included in that uh, food items has to be checked. And eat regularly and match how you eat with your activity level means how much you are eating should be equal to the activity which you are doing in the whole day. Okay, so it has to be balanced so that we don't end up uh, uh, gaining more weight. Okay, eat fewer high calories, cholesterol, saturated and trans fat food. The foods which I told you like uh, packet foods, the refined foods, the uh, canned foods, all these has to be avoided. And having more natural foods, that is the key. So now we can see that eating at regular time will help us more. So our body is better able to regulate blood sugar levels and your weight. So when you maintain a regular meal schedule, so what you need to do is, so now we have a common, uh, this thing that if I fast, I will lose my weight. So that is not right. Try to have a balanced meal and uh, have it in same time every day which we are having. Differing half an hour here and there is fine. But yes, try to have it on a regular time. And fix that time for your meal. That will help you more. Okay. So start with a high protein. So the breakfast will contain a high protein breakfast like eggs, sprouts, mung dosa or chila. All these you can include. And this will give you energy to start up your day and keep you full for a longer time. And you can work the whole day. And we should avoid snacking on uh, high carbohydrates or uh, refined foods. First thing we go and see is that if we are hungry, go grab that biscuit packet and eat two, three biscuits and just again go and work. Try to avoid that. So keep some uh, foods, which is uh, good snacking options on your table. Or if you are going to office for work, carry your own snacking uh, box. Like some fruits and nuts is the best option and some roasted chana will also help you in this. Okay. The calorie and the food we eat should be, uh, the in and out should be equal. Okay. So that we need to take care of it. How we can do this now. So how much calories and the food which we are consuming should be equally proportional to the exercise which we are doing so that's why i had told you that exercising 30 minutes three to four days in a week is with a moderate intensity will help you in maintaining this okay last but not the least maintaining a food diary we need to maintain a food diary so whatever meals which we are taking we can maintain a diary for this as we can do it in our application also log your meals so that your health coach will be knowing that and will be helping you in how you can maintain this food diary also maintaining a balanced meal plate okay and tell you the reason and what you can increase and what you can decrease in the meal or uh, what can be included or excluded to make it a balanced and perfect meal plate okay and we know that technology is uh, is 
one thing which is contributing to keep diabetes on track. So try to log your blood, not only your meals, but your blood sugars also. And if you are uh, having blood pressure also, you can log all these things in the application too and your health coach can guide you on this also. Okay. So the bottom line of this is to monitor your carbohydrate content in the meal and to avoid carbohydrate loading at a time. So that is why we say that balancing it with 25% of carbohydrates with whole grains and 25% with the protein source, say lean uh, cuts of meats, or when you are a vegetarian, you can have it uh, whole grains like mung, matki, rajma, chana with some uh, milk products like curd uh, and paneer. And 50% can be included with vegetables like one green vegetable, a bowl of green vegetable and a bowl of salad, which will come to two open hands of your vegetable serving in one plate. So that you need to take care of, okay? And the portion will have to be controlled. How should you use your fat, sugars, and milk products? So I told you fat should be not more than your thumb. That is three to four teaspoons in the whole day. And sugars has to be avoided, be it added to any of the food or adding it as sugar, jaggery, and honey. And milk products, as I told you, it should be low fat and thousand. So the baseline is sub cow, but sub to say cow. Okay. So now if you can see which plate contains the most, this is an illusion. So think before you looking at the answer below. So we can see as the plate is becoming, becoming smaller, we see that the smaller plate contains more vegetables. But this serving is the same for each and every plate. So make sure what the plate contains and moves the food so that you need to take care of. And for this and your personalized diet plan, goal setting and tips, you can reach out to your health coach. She will be the best, best person to help you out in this to plan a meal plate and diet plan for you. And we have a good patients of 45,000 uh, patients plus. And these are the testimonials which we have and which they have uh, come out with good results with our health coaches. You can read this. Some more to go with the HPA1C level also has been decreased by following the diet and the suggestions and the tips provided by our health coaches. And introduced, we have come up with a new product which is there for three months, six months, and 12 months. So we can have a look on this and you can be benefited from this either for a renewal or a a new plan which you want to improve for. So with this, our clinical expert and all the results, we have reduced 1.17% of HPA1C and weight loss of 2.36 kg. And this is an overall, uh, this uh, program is an overall complete care team where we have doctors which, which gives counseling on how, what all medications and everything we can have. Caregivers also can be uh, included with this. We can talk to your caregivers and explain them your health uh, parameters and health goals which has to be set for you. Digital health coach, we have scary. So whatever you log and whatever you have, you can see that the digital health coach will also help you and human health coach. Your health coach will be helping you in uh, creating uh, your best diet plan and a balanced meal plate too. Okay. And not only the balanced meal plate, we can talk about some 
uh, healthy cooking habits also. So what we can have for this healthy cooking uh, methods. So the best cooking methods are steaming, grilling, stir frying, roasting, or baking, we say, or poaching and boiling. So these are the best cooking techniques which we can include in our day-to-day -day life. So steaming means, uh, simply we can say the foods which we eat the best as a breakfast meal is idli, adhokla, all all-time favorite doklas can be steamed. So you know how to steam. Grilling is also one thing. We can grill uh, vegetables also, meats also, and uh, some paneer also, paneer and tofu too. So grilling is also a healthy cooking habit. Stir frying. Stir frying helps us how to uh, do stir fry. In less oil and high flame, we can cook uh, small cuts of vegetables that can be uh, cooked in high flame. So that is stir fry. Baking and roasting, you know that we need an oven to bake or roast. And nowadays we can do it at home with the cooker itself by preheating the cooker and uh, using that technique to do if we don't have an OTG or microwave. Poaching. Poaching is a method where uh, very lightly we can uh, poach it in boiling water. Okay, so that way we can do the poaching uh, process also and boiling or simmering. So foods which we can boil are normally we boil our moon and our sprouts. So try to steam that boiling and uh, throwing out the water. That is one thing we need to take care of because when we throw out the water after boiling, that will uh, lose all the nutrients, water-soluble nutrients. So try to steam that. And other things like uh, rice, sometimes we cook rice and potatoes also uh, with that technique. So the starch can be removed. So the foods which we can do it are the starchy foods. And the foods which we are not supposed to do is vegetables and other uh, fruits and things which we are not supposed to boil and throw off the water. Okay. So, and this... Uh, techniques and the basic uh, balanced meal plate can not help you in hypoglycemic ep episodes, hypoglycemic episodes also, illness and hospitalization. So there are many, many times when we feel uh, we are unwell and everything. So that time, what can we, what uh, can be done? So basic example is when you have a small cold and flu, what you can do? So in that, your health coach also can help you. And one or two tips I also can tell you is have some steam or some uh, hot uh, fluids like uh, rasam or moong uh, water, which will help you, not only help you give energy also, but will help you relieve those symptoms very fast. And religious fast also we have. So what can we do for that also can be explained. And during the celebrations, like we can say there are many celebrations in a year or month we have like birthdays, anniversaries or anything like that for parties which we attend. So how we can have a healthy balanced meal plate over there that also can be done. So one example for that is if it is a planned one, a celebration which is a planned one, you can uh, do it by uh, maintaining your carbohydrates and the meal portion accordingly. So it is planned for an evening a party. What can you do is you can reduce the quantity of your meals for your breakfast and lunch so that you can have your favorite foods in the evening and do not end up overeating in the whole day. So try to follow that and have more of healthy options which is available in that place. Okay. And there are many frequent travelers also. So in that way also, we can help you out how, can, how we can manage this balance plate. Thank you. And feel free to ask any of the questions if you have. Great. Thank you so much, uh, Dhruti ji, if you can stop sharing your presentation. Uh, we'll definitely have a lot of questions from our users. So let us hear from them. Uh, what is it that they exactly want to discuss about? Sure. So we have Mr. Ashok uh, who wants to know something about oils. 
सो सबसे पहले गुड इवनिंग अशोक जी थैंक यू सो मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग टू डेज सेशन अशोक जी इज आस्किंग ध्रुति कोकोनट ऑयल और मस्टर्ड ऑयल विच ऑयल इज हेल्दी thank you very much for asking the question good question so coconut oil and mustard oil so coconut oil contains saturated fats in it so try to avoid coconut oil and mustard oil contains good mufa that is mono unsaturated fatty acid which is a heart friendly oil you can use that but there would be some preparations as you were asking for coconut oil specifically so once in a while you can have that because it contains medium chain triglycerides also which is good to have in moderation so once in a while you can have that maybe once or twice in 10 days you can have any of the cooking method prepared with coconut oil yeah hope i have cleared the answer yeah sure thank you so much for that ruti um Mr. Chakravarti, hello, hi, good evening. Thank you so much for your proactive participation. Like every time. So, uh, Druti, uh, Mr. Chakravarti is asking us instead of taking seeds like flax seeds, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, I prefer to take combined form and powder with my meal. Is that okay? Will this powder combination help in reducing blood sugars? Yes, it will help. So. uh this nuts and seeds see, uh, these nuts and dry fruits and seeds which we say are the dried forms of this so it contains good calories also in it so when we have it along with the meal it will increase the carbohydrate intake or the calorie intake which we say i would rather uh, say calorie intake of that meal so it is better to have it in between meals yes as you uh, said that if chewing or any uh, this thing is a problem you can powder that and have it with water or you can sprinkle it over curd something like that you can have as a snack in between so that our snacking option is also an healthier option and in our meals also we do not end up eating more calories great thank you so much for that uh, druti ji so uh, mr vivek wants to inform us that you gave some information about quantity of type of carbs uh, in your session so if you can also share grams wise yes. that will be really helpful so instead of giving exact grams maybe if you can give a rough estimate and just give some example so that everyone will get benefit from this yes so as we say it will be differing with each and every uh, food groups which we said as i told you uh, fruits vegetables grains and cereals so grains and cereals we'll start with like chapati or rice or oats or something like that so maybe some amount of 20 to 30 grams you can have in the whole day so how can you measure this which is a very simple thing is like one tablespoon is 15 grams so almost one to two tablespoon will be one serving of your cereals okay and when it is cooked it become it means a uh, cereal a uh, rice or whatever we say it tends to uh, double or triple its size so 100 grams of cooked food or a cup which we say that can be included or when we say about chapati we cannot measure it in uh, cups or something so what we can do is the dough size should be two lime sized uh, dough and you can prepare a chapati or millet chapati however it is the same goes with the dal pulse so one ta one two tablespoons of this raw wheat or one and a half cup that is 150 grams uh, one and a half cup of uh, this dal pulses can be taken and when having uh, proteins in other forms like chicken or fish you can have 100 grams so three to small pieces of chicken or fish and when having eggs you can have two eggs at a time and make sure that in the whole day you have only one whole egg rest of the eggs should be whites so that is the yes. serving size of your uh, cereals and pulses and about the vegetables i told you two hands either one bowl of vegetable or one bowl of salad so that would be fine great i think it was very simply explained thank you druti ji for that uh, we have mr chakravarti who is asking us set of questions uh let us combine all of them and give him a response yes uh, if you can explain 
saturated and unsaturated fats mm. and how will they impact health and which nuts should a diabetic have okay. so saturated fats and unsaturated fats which we say that saturated fats basic simple example for this is it is solid in room temperature like butter ghee and uh, this dalda which we say all these are saturated fats so that has to be avoided and unsaturated fats like vegetables vegetable oils which can be consumed like as i said earlier also mustard oil olive oil canola oil all these oil can be included okay and nuts are one thing which we can include as i said earlier also they are rich in carbohydrates or means the calories also so we need to take them in small quantities and what all you can include is not more than 15 to 20 grams means a tablespoon of nuts which we have so we can have four to five almonds two walnuts two pistachios and your favorite cashew nuts but try to have it in moderation because it contains both saturated and unsaturated fats so try to have not more than two so these will have this one fistful of or you can say a tablespoon of nuts which you can include daily in your diet in between meals or you can powder it and add it to your milk uh, in the evenings or at bedtime also so this is how you can include your nuts great okay thank you so much druti ji for this uh, we have a mr nurul who's asking us a set of questions i would like to answer them uh, ppt cannot be provided and the recording of this program uh, is available only on uh, paid subscription to aapko ek paid plan pe pehle aana padega uske baad hi aapko iska access milega so i'm so sorry please connect with your health coach and she will guide you on the further process okay i hope this helps you nurul ji um mr ketan kumar good evening thank you so much for being associated with acucheck wellbe um he is asking some food samples in liquid form which he can have in his day to day eating habits in his routine which are healthy so some liquid food examples which can be mid meal breakfast evening snack something to have munch on and uh, he is also asking if his a1c is 5.7 what steps should he take to control it further so sure. so yes first i will uh, answer to the uh, food items which we can have as a liquid form so liquid and semi solid i can tell you so for your breakfast you can have any of the cereals so which is you can prepare it with milk either with water like uh, you can have some sattu you can have oats porridge or oats upma also you can prepare with a little more water so that it becomes a liquidy form so that is one thing you can have for your breakfast uh, snack and in between meals what you can have is as a liquid form is your smoothies as i told you so smoothies when we include we increase our intake of vegetables and fruits and leafy vegetables especially we normally don't like to have leafy vegetables so what we can do is we can include this as a smoothie so include a leafy vegetable for example say spinach along with that you can have some coriander leaves men curry leaves so these are the many uh, leaves which you can include along with this a fruit also can be included like apple or green apple or a cucumber is also fine to add with this and season it with some lime and pepper so this is your smoothie and you can add some chia seeds also soaked chia seeds to it so it becomes more healthier and it gives you satiety for say 2 to 3 hours other things which you can include are which gives you energy to is moong dal with blended moong in it so when we have moong or moong dal uh, blended that you can have we can have rasam also with this so all these will contain protein source and will keep you satiety and in a liquid form so this is what you can include in your meal and uh, as we said that normally when we say liquid form what first thing comes in our head is the rice kanji so try to have 
other things, as I had told you, other than uh, white rice, what we can have, those options can be included as a page or rice lunch. Okay, great. Thank you, Druti ji, for this. Yes. Uh, we have Mr. Vivek. Hello, Mr. Vivek. He is asking us, can we add aloe vera in our smoothie? Yes, you can add aloe vera in your smoothie. Just make sure there are many varieties of it and make sure that variety is being edible or not and try to include that in that in your uh, smoothies also. Okay, great. Thank you for that, Druti. What about roasted rice? Bhunja. Roasted rice. Uh, I... Uh, Rituja, if you can help, I did not understand what actually exactly it is. Sure, sure. So, uh, if we assume uh, Mr. RM, roasted rice, bunja means something similar to broken wheat. Okay. So, broken rice kernels is what uh, you mean here. Then, yes, that is healthy. Jisse hum kanji banate hai, chawal ka. Uh, Usi se banta hai, rice ko halka sa ghee roast karke, fir uska rice bana, patla sa rice bana ke, uska liquid hum consume karte hai. That is called as rice kanji. If that is the form of rice, but uh, overall rice has a high glycemic index and the type of carbohydrates present in it can uh, lead to fluctuations in your blood sugar. How to eat it, when to eat it, what is the quantity you need to eat it is what me and my team will teach you. So please ensure that you discuss your health code because discuss body weight, ke body weight, ke se, current blood sugar, kitna hai, us se, uh, we try to guide our users. I hope this helps. Ashok ji, hello, hi, good evening. Thank you so much. Uh, Ashok ji wants to know, uh, I'm cooking broken wheat instead of rice daily and eating it with rasam, curry, sambar. Will it not make my gluten intake too much and affect me in any other ways? Yes, you can have this gluten. When there is sensitivity only, we need to take care of this, uh, look about this on the gluten intake of our meals. So if you are not sensitive to it, so then that is okay to include all these things, right? So including that with sambar as a protein source will also sambar, rasam or curd. All these are a protein source. So that balances it and it is a good uh, uh, a form of uh, dalia to eat. Great. Yes. Thank you so much. Just to add to what my coach said, add a lot of vegetables. That is something which will help you. It will actually become a balanced meal. It will be a combination of uh, complex carbs, it will be a combination of fiber and protein. So please talk to your coaches. Simple khana bhi healthy ho sakta hai. Simple khana bhi balanced ho sakta hai. Please ensure you follow what your coach says. Alright. So Mr. Narayana is here. Thank you so much for being associated with Akichek Wellby. He has asked us two, three uh, things about his daily routine. What is the quality quantity of sweet potato I can have in one meal and can I use ghee in one uh, once in a week instead of cooking in oil yeah. thank you for asking this question so yes sweet potato we can have instead of potatoes it's better to have sweet potato because it contains good other nutrients too like vitamin A and fiber also so you can include that once in a week, as I said, as a mid-evening snack or mid-morning snack. You can either grill it or roast it and you can have it as uh, boiled or so that can be included as maybe uh, well, one bowl of uh, sweet potato once or twice in a week you can have. And about A2, uh, uh, the ghee which you are talking about, yes, cow's ghee can be taken because it contains omega-3 fatty acids too. So you can include that. Make sure that, that using that does not exceed that 3 to 4 teaspoon of oil in the whole day, what we are using in you. So you can include that, a teaspoon of ghee instead of oil on that day you can use. No worries. Great. Thank you so much, Dhruti, for this. And with this, our today's discussion on balanced plate portion control and diabetes management 
comes to an end but don't worry i am getting a lot of speakers for you week on week and thank you so much druti ji for today's session all your users are updating that uh, they have finally seen their health coach today and they are really happy to meet you so thank you so much for taking this session up and discussing all of the live problems the actual challenges which our users face in their day to day routine uh, actually eating healthy is very simple if we keep a track of it let's ensure all of us do that in our day to day routine with this note let's wrap up today's session and let's meet next week with a new set of speaker new information and a lot of knowledge sharing series Meanwhile take care of your health ensure you spend some good time with your loved ones and have a great weekend take care bye bye